Hi guys, I'm going away soon, but I said I'd put something on the net for you before I went. Um, not so much in the BIOS today, but uh, monitoring tools, benchmarking programs, uh, things like that that you're going to need and have a bit of a play with before I come back and do the other one. I'll just show you my screenshot that I made. Okay, we've got tools such as, I've got Vista, so I run a sidebar, and I've got uh, Everest running over here, gives you temp temperature monitoring, tells you your, your, your speed of your CPU, etc. Um, what else can we show you here? There's CPU-Z version 1.4, I think this one is. You, you want to get that. That's a great little uh, tool there. This isn't actually showing what my computer's running at. This is a screenshot at the moment, running twin 3.5s, a bit over. Um, core temp is best for monitoring your, your, your temperature of your CPU. My Everest does it just as well. Uh, Metabench, good benchmarking tool. Uh, at 3.5s, I'm getting over 7,000 there as a benchmark for yourself. Uh, CPU tester, uh, run the benchmark on that. I'm getting a bit over 17,000. Super Pi you've got up here. As you can see, when I ran it at twin 3.6s, not 24-7 stable, got 14.04 uh, on that one. Um, measure Pi to 1, 8 or 32 on that if you want to bounce it off me. Um, Orthos is the best one for running your computer at 100% and seeing if it's stable. If it'll do it for 3 to 5 minutes initially, then you can try keep clocking. Then you want to run a longer one later on to make sure that it definitely is, is sticking without uh, locking up uh, the, the benchmark. Is, the clock is sticking without it locking up the computer. Uh, clock gen here is a, a generic version of something like AI Suite, which is the Asus tool uh, for this motherboard. Either one you can use. I don't tend to do anything on the fly. I do it in the BIOS, but if I want to just do a couple of little increments just to s test them out when I'm tweaking at the final end, like I got to a uh, front side bus of 380 and got to 390 using on the fly and then just made sure that was stable by locking it in BIOS and uh, restarting, and it was fine. Um, the clock gen one's interesting, it's got your PCI Express and your PCI uh, frequencies there which you can sort of adjust on the fly again, not recommend it, recommend it but at least it tells you uh, where some other, whereas some others don't, uh, where you're at there. Uh, other things you can use for graphics uh, benchmarking, Aquamark, uh, 3D Mark 06, uh, probably two of the best ones, the Aquamark's more of a mix of CPU and uh, graphics. Uh, I don't have much time to run through uh, more here. Uh, when I get back from Phuket, I'll, I'll uh, get on and give you the stage to get you up to twin 3.4s or something like that. Uh, just take into account that there is a lot of things uh, that affect your benchmarking hardware, even the CPU. E6600s come out in several different steppings and, and revisions. Uh, even like people say, the B2 is an awesome overclocker. Well, there's two versions of a B2. One has, runs on a lower stock voltage and the other one runs on a higher stock voltage. I happen to have the higher one. The lower one says you can get to between 4 gigs and 4.2s on air. It, it's all very variable. But look, have a play with the programs. Benchmark your computer at stock at twin 3.2s and, and then we'll benchmark it further to see what you can actually lock it in at. RAM's the other factor. Maybe you want to find out what voltage you should run, what timing's at on your RAM in the meantime. And uh, that's... A, Something needs to be set in BIOS at some point. Okay, guys, well, I'll catch you when I'm back. See ya.